Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Criminally, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Today, crime, uh, I want to talk to you about the detective novel The Waiter by AJ Chowdhury um, and also give a few thoughts on the current state of British crime fiction. So The Waiter is the first in a fairly new series of British detective novels uh, featuring a character called Camille Roman. Uh, so The Waiter came out, I think, in 2020. Um, and there's been one there's been one every year since then. So the publishers obviously think they're onto a good thing uh, with these books and, and are pushing them. Um, so I've only read the first so far. I do have the second one as well, which I, I may give a, a try at some point. And I thought The Waiter was was fine as a book. You know, it's reasonably entertaining. It's got some interesting characters, an interesting setting. Um, but it felt to me like it's quite uh, emblematic of what's happening with UK crime fiction at the moment, which is that um, publishers are just trying to get as much stuff out as possible. Um, crime is very, very popular as a, as a genre in the UK at the moment. Um, and it, whenever you, you know, whenever I walk into, you know, a bookshop or W. H. Smith, that the paperback shelves seem to be overloaded with with crime fiction, uh, and and those books struggle, I think, sometimes to stand out from each other. Um, and that's something that the waiter has. So let me tell you a little bit about that book, and then, and then I'll get back to my thoughts about it. So, as I said, features a character called. Camille Roman. So, so Camille is a or was a detective in India in Kolkata. Um, and had to leave the force there in disgrace when a um, a murder that he was investigating. So the investigation, you know, went wrong basically. So he's left and he's come to the UK. He's in the UK on a tourist visa, um, but he's working as a as a waiter in a restaurant that's run by some people he knows, um, and. He's, you know, constantly in in fear that the like the Home Office, the authorities are going to, you know, find out he's working on a on a tourist visa and send him back and things like that. So you've got that kind of immigration element to it, which I thought was quite interesting and quite well done. Now, as part of his uh, as part of his job as a waiter, he ends up. Um, catering a like a big um, event in this this big house for a rich Indian businessman who then turns up dead um, so you end up with a situation where uh, you've got two storylines kind of running in parallel to each other one about the so Camille gets involved in the investigation into this this new death but also you learn more and more about the investigation back in India that led to him leaving the police force. So the, the two things are kind of balanced against each other. And, you you know, uh, AJ Chowdhury uses that technique that's quite common or very common in crime novels at the moment, where you have two competing narratives that kind of, you know, interlock with each other um, as the book progresses. So it always keeps it interesting because you know that even if the the chapter you're reading is a bit boring um, or you're not particularly enjoying it you're going to flip back to the other investigation next so it's a good way of you know maintaining suspense and things like that and I thought AJ Chowdhury did a pretty good job of teasing out both of those mysteries and gradually revealing you know overlaps between them as is, is in pretty much inevitable with this kind of thing um so you've got that going for it. And then you've also got, you know, the, the setting is interesting. So the, the setting in India, so the Indian part of the story in particular, I found quite interesting. Um, it's it's good to see, you know, it's always interesting to see another, you know, and learn about another culture. And then you also get a lot about kind of British Asian culture as well, which is quite interesting too. And now, now I get to the but. But some of the writing in this book I didn't think was great. It stumbles a bit at times, the prose isn't always great, and, and it, it felt to me like it needed the attention of a better editor or more attention from the editor it had. Um, it, it's, you know, at, at times it can be a bit slow and it can feel like, um, you know, some of the plot points are slightly fumbled. Um, and I found the more the more of it I read, the less engaged I was by it. So that by the end of it, whilst I was still, you know, reading it and turning the pages, I was far less interested in what was going on than I had been at the start. Now, that said, Camille is an interesting character um, and it'll be interesting to see what AJ Chowdhury does with him in, in you know, subsequent books in the series. Um, I like the idea of the kind of outsider detective it's always quite an, an interesting way of doing it so that you know that British set mystery within this where he is um, you know 
somewhat fearful of the authorities because of his immigration status is quite interesting. Um, so that that was that part of it was well handled. But yeah, overall, it just felt like it needed maybe another draft, maybe a bit more polish um, to really uh, you know highlight its its good points and make it more satisfying overall. And this, to me, feels like a book that at another time, you know, possibly wouldn't have been published. I don't think it's, you know, it's quite there yet. Which isn't to say that A.J. Chowdhury hasn't got, you know, promise as a writer. And as I say, I think Camille is an interesting character. And I'd like to see, you know, more more done with him. But I don't think if crime wasn't as huge as it is in the UK at the moment, this book would have been published. And I think one of the things that was probably appealing to it, uh, you know, for publishers was that, you know, that Indian setting, that reflection on British Asian culture, which, as, as I say, was was well handled. I just thought as a detective story, it didn't hang together as well as it could have. So I find myself in the strange position of being someone who, who really loves crime fiction, but who worries that there is maybe too much crime fiction being published in the UK at the moment. Um, and it seems to me that it falls into two camps. You either get kind of domestic suspense type stuff, which I'm, I'm not particularly a fan of, or you get detectives type stuff, which I prefer, but where the detective has something you know, interesting or unique about them that makes them stand out from the rest of the, you know, the rest of the books on the shelves. And, you know, The Waiter definitely has that. Um, but as I say, I felt like the, the actual detective story part of it maybe needed a bit more work. So, yeah, let me know what you think of that. Let me know if you think there are too many books being published. So, yeah, let me know what you think of that. Let me know if you think there are too many uh, crime novels being published in the UK at the moment. Um, and as always, thanks very much for watching. Hope you're safe and well out there. Hope you're reading good stuff. And I'll speak to you again very soon. Cheerio.